Well, that's a good question, especially for those of us in the West. I, I think that there is blame to uh, go around. Um, I think on the part of those um, who have uh, opposed evolution and um, you know support the evidence for creation, I don't think that there has been the best job done in arguing the case. Now, I think that's changing. And, and our work here, you know, the gathering of intellectuals here, is a part of that change. So I think on the one hand, articulating the rational, reasonable, evidence-based arguments for a designed creation, a creation by God, has not been done very well. And then secondly, the history of the early 20th century was, is the history of totalitarianism throughout the West. Of, of aggressive centralized governments with aggressive ideologies, fascism, Marxism, communism, soft communism, socialism, imposing their views on top of the people. And this has, this more than anything else, dominated the character of the West and it spread out into the rest of the world from the early 19th century forward. And so, Evidence and discussion aside, the other you know, part of when I say there's a lot of blame to go around, the blame is on the side of the evolutionists. They have put this theory forward in many instances by force, by insisting that schools only teach one approach, by deliberately removing and banning materials that ask questions and contradict these theories. So there's not been a good response on the other side, and there has been aggressive totalitarianistic approaches on the side of evolution.